Hey guys, my name is Cody Long with Quality Boats, and today is delivery day on this brand new 2024 Pursuit DC 266. Thought it was a great time to do a delivery orientation video since I've already done a walkthrough. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're looking for a new boat, all my contact information is down below. Let's jump into it. All right, so I've already done a walkthrough video on this boat, not this one, but the DC 266. So today is gonna be a deep dive into where everything is and how everything looks in this boat. This boat does have the new 200s, same block, but they've changed the design. They also added this new electric hydraulic steering system in the back. So there's no hydraulics on the boat, which is really cool. I'm gonna start in the transom. You do have a garlic pull-out ladder. This is a huge step, so let's not go in the water today. I'm gonna do this upside down, but you have a pull-out ladder. It does have three rungs on either side. Well, this, this is a single hand operation ladder, super easy to work with. A lot of my boaters have had Yamahas before, so they know all about flushing. But if you don't, you have this plug right back here. Let's unscrew that. There is a yellow washer in here. You want to be careful not to drop that. I usually tell my clients, get a handful of these guys, keep them in the boat. Run the water through this for about five minutes. Don't run the engine. When you're done, make sure you tighten this back down. If you forget to tighten this down after you're done flushing, you run the motor the next time it overheats. That is not a warranty issue. Trans transom of this boat is, there's not a lot out here. You have a couple of pie plates where you can get down in the bilge, a little bit of wiring access there, made America flag in the back. And we did an aftermarket battery charger on this, which our tech, my tech did an awesome job with. But you have the 30 amp shore power hookup right here, off to starboard. If it comes from the factory, it's typically off to port. Pop-up cleats. We'll go over the sure shade here in a little bit. In the back of the boat, I went ahead and stored my customer's fenders. And soft fenders too. This boat will be kept in the water. You have your Fresh water fill there and the live well. We're gonna go over the plugs here in a little bit also. Let's jump up to the battery switch, get this boat turned on. So this is the heart of the boat. Whenever you get on the boat, you wanna turn both your batteries on. That should start everything. We also need to turn these breakers on down here. So I'll do the head and everything just to make sure we have it all. Turn windlass on, we're gonna be testing that. You don't have any, none of these should be popped right now, but this is the location in case anything does, stops working, like your aft auto build, your stereo memory, or your windlass breaker, all kinds of stuff in here. If you need something, it's all in one location, so it's super nice on pursuit. If you ever kill your batteries, sitting at the island all day, listening to music, you can always turn this to combined. Just get that little bit of extra juice out of it. Same with your engines. Was that guy I'm gonna turn this radio off real fast if you have questions on why your radio is beeping like this I have another video on how to make it stop I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a couple of things that we're gonna be using in the back turn on your fresh water switch and your wash down back to the transom over here so you have your fresh water wash down right here this is your shower you can see how far that water does shoot and then you have an easy quick connect right here. This boat does come with a hose. That is right there. That little fitting is going to pop right into that. Underneath the gunnel you have a fire extinguisher and a nice holder over here for your aft shade pop out. That just goes right in there and stores. Not too much here in the transfer of the boat. Little silver things on the bottom are your cockpit lights. Mid-level are the blue mid-level lighting. You have two seats. One here folds out, one over on the side. That is all in the walkthrough video. Let's dive into the bilge here. If Coast Guard ever asked to see your discharge of oil placard, that's it. And down in here is where we have that big yellow thing over there is the battery charger we installed. Access to your batteries, the clear tank in the back is your fresh water tank. 
and just some breakers. Easy access to your seacocks, uh, your live well seacock, deck drains is the one on the left. More deck drains there on the off to the starboard side. This is the breaker that we installed for the uh, battery charger. You have your battery charger and you actually have a spare also. You have, that is your wash down and then your fuel water separators. I usually don't open this on deliveries, but since I'm making a video on it, might as well. This is access to the top of your fuel tank and diverter valves. Those should be open. Fills, tank stuff. Don't mess with that too much. These pins just pop right back in. Not a very important part for most owners. All right, moving forward, cup holder off here to left to the port, and then a cooler. This is insulated with a drain down the bottom. This is not a cooler box, just a regular cooler. Getting more into the nitty gritty here. Tackle center. And then a big storage here in the center called the ski locker storage. And this is gonna be where we have the poles for the forward and aft shade. And then just big storage. Let's go ahead and try to get my phone in here. All right, so off to the starboard side down here. This is your head overboard discharge, that thing with the yellow. It's got something yellow wrapped around the handle. That is zip tied down. It's a three step process to do the head overboard discharge. Hopefully I'll get into that through this video. And then you also have this manifold system for deck drains that also has a seacock on it. Kinda can't see it. Maybe there, bend my arm backwards. Get up to the helm now. CL5 display. Turn this power on so we can see it all. You have your CL5 display, which is the Yamaha display. I need to make a video dependently on that. And then you have your Garmin 8612 XSV on this side. I'm trying to make more videos on this, so if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to make some how-tos on that. All of your switches are easy to see. I mean, they're all backlit, they're all labeled. Horn, anchor nav, cockpit. You have color changing overhead lights, so they change red, white, and blue. And then off, you have a 308 spreader switch. So you have one position, which is gonna be your backs. And then the second will be your fronts and backs. Windshield wiper, ACCY isn't hooked to anything yet. Mid-level, which is the blue lights. Let's go get some of those guys. Kinda of hard to see on the video, but blue level light, mid-level is blue. Underwater lights, which is color changing, uh, Lumitech Quattro. You have your windlass, which we'll do up in the bow. Aft bilge, fresh water, wash down, live well. And this power steering switch is actually dead now too. Lenko electric trim tabs off the port. And that is just under the JL Media Master MM105. That all networks to this too, which is really cool. Let's go into media there. So that all networks and talks together. New binnacle from Yamaha with the power and the start stop on the binnacle itself, which is, you know, cleans up the dash a little bit. You also do have a power start stop independent switch right next to your kill lanyard there. And then an independent uh, mic speaker off to starboard. You have the VHF 315 on this boat as equipped. And we'll jump down into the head here. Since this is such an important part for the family in getting a boat, see so we've already primed the system this is a new system that pursuit's been installing in their boats so let's go ahead and we'll just add some water in here press that adds water there's this button down here if you're gonna be leaving the boat for a long time which is empty only press and hold that 
and then it also has automatic flush systems, water saver, and normal flush. Water saver is just going to flush it one time, press it once, fills it up, and then it's going to flush it down, and then it'll go back and fill the tank, fill the bowl up one more time. Normal flush is going to do that process twice. Head macerator is to do an overboard discharge, so I would need to open up that. There's three step process is turn the breaker on that is we already did, which is in that box there. Open the valve down below, which has a zip tie holding it down. And then you come in here and press and hold the head macerator and that is your overboard discharge. And your headlight right there. Sink down below and just a little bit of storage in here. With the marine heads, make sure that you are conscious of what we are flushing down there. Um, you know, use the RV or marine grade toilet paper. That way we're not clogging up a system. It is not fun to try and clean those out. Just behind this door, we have two table legs, one for the aft, which is this one with the screw on it, screw right there. And then this one, which is going up in the fore deck and then the table over there. Right now I have all the safety equipment in here, some extra fire extinguishers, flares, and then all the covers. Underneath all of this, somewhere underneath all of this, there is the canvas for the bow and stern shade. If I have enough time when I'm done with this, I will try and get those set up. And then just push that in to lock it in. Up to the bow. We have USB plugs on either side with storage underneath both of these seats. This customer did order a bow filler pad that's coming in. This boat was in inventory and didn't have it in it. Let's go ahead and play at the windlass. This windlass is going to deserve its own video at some point too, whenever I can get out in a boat to do it. But make sure that you, the foot cliff notes of it, make sure you undo this to drop it and then every time you come back before you start riding make sure you clip back that back in there this boat does have a windless remote you have two positions you can do this from here this thing will actually stretch all the way back to the helm or you can do this as a switch that is on the helm press the button down it goes down press the button up it goes up So some things that you want to check periodically, making sure this, this big round thing on top is called the gypsy. Make sure that's tight. I just put my hand on it and twist it. There's also a handle in this boat that you can use. It fits right in that little star shape and use that to tighten it. Make sure that's tight. And that'll give you a little bit of extra pull on the, on the windlass there. Anchor nav light, receiver for your Sirius XM. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the bow shade. That is down in here, these black sticks. So we have these black poles. These are just gonna go right into these receivers right here up on the bow. One. And two. All right, this is gonna be nearly impossible, single-handed. So you have these D-rings on each corner, and then you have these clips on the ends here. So, if I can get my hand up here. These clips go to the D-rings up here, and I'll be right back when so I So I got them. those three clips up there. Now I'm gonna take this D-ring, and it is gonna go right on this black pole here. Now we're gonna take the other one. And that, we'll go that right does there. take two hands to do, but that is your bow shade. Now let's go ahead and get the out. All right, so I was trying to do this with the phone in my hand, but it's really hard to do single-handed. These poles for the aft shade pop right into these receivers. So let's see. This pulls out, goes into home, and this pops towards actually leaning to the outside of the boat. 
Aft shade's a little bit different. You have this groove here, which is gonna go right into that track system right on the bottom of the hard top. This is gonna take me two hands too, so I'll come back when it's done. So after you have the shade in the track, I already went ahead and clipped this because that'd be impossible single-handed. Just pull that down through the cam cleat and do the same thing over here. And now I have my aft shade all set up. So this DC-266 is super easy to use, very family friendly and has just about something for everybody. If you want to come take a look at it, look me up. All my contact information is down below. Thanks for watching.